Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. This is Small Town 6 and I am Tiffany. And today I am sharing with you guys a grocery haul and meal plan. Um, I am sharing with you, I went to Aldi's because usually I'll either go in person to Aldi's or I'll do a Walmart pickup. Those are my two go-to things. I wish Aldi's had a pickup service where we live, but unfortunately they don't. So I, um, instead of doing the Walmart, I did a in-person Aldi's haul because I needed to check and see if there was some fresh produce. Um, next week I'll probably do the Walmart thing because I alternate. So I'm sharing with you what I got um, and I'm going to share with you a meal plan. So today's video is in collaboration with my friend Jen from Southern Mama Drama. If you guys haven't checked out her channel before, you'll love her. She is awesome she has the best personality and she's such a great mama she's got two little boys and she's got a little baby girl that is precious and on her channel she shares lots of grocery hauls she shares days in the life she shares recipes she is just great she is great especially with these walmart hauls that she does and she adds in all of her prices for the groceries she gets that way when you guys get done watching my channel today you guys can go check out jen's i'm going to link hers down in the description box and also her her video for today because she did a grocery haul also um, I think that's what us mamas do all the time we got to keep our families fed and we got to have a meal plan because otherwise it's just chaos so um, let's go ahead and get started I'll show you guys what I got I got a lot of really good deals some impulse buys because that always happens and uh, and I'll just go ahead and get started and if you guys are coming from Jen's channel welcome I am Tiffany I'm a mama of four kids I share lots of cooking videos lots of grocery hauls some cleaning motivation pretty much anything that goes into being a homemaker i'll share on my channel so i would love to have you join our little family here in youtube um but with much ado let's get going guys i'll go ahead and share this grocery haul so i don't keep rambling okay guys this grocery haul was a little pricey unexpectedly 249.39 Woo! don't mind the dishes all of this Okay, I picked up some cilantro. This is only like 69 cents there, but I like to put on like Mexican dishes or salsa sometimes. Um, garden salad, it was really um, slim pickings there. These are normally like 89 cents or 99 cents or something, so I just get it like, some available. But that was the only bag I got today. These were, I think, $1.29 a pound. Um, green grapes were, the red grapes were $1.12 a pound, I think. But I got these for the green grapes. That ended up being like $2.45 for that big bag. Got some blueberries. These actually look pretty good. Strawberries. This isn't really strawberry season, especially where we live. So I still wanted some fresh strawberries, but the prices have definitely increased. Those were $2.39. The spring mix got that to have some salads. Um, I think this was $4.49 on um, sale. It was like a special buy, it said. Just some mushrooms pre sliced already. Got these. I like these little matchstick type of baby carrots. Like they're thin, they're real thin. I prefer these over the others. And they usually don't have as much water inside of the bags. Because those other ones that are fatter seem to have more water inside and they go bad quicker. Got some zucchini. Um, I can't remember how much this was. This was. It was like a little over a dollar. So I got that because I always throw that into recipes. These were on clearance. I think these were like 80 cents. Um, you could see like the ends were starting to turn brown. So I'm just going to cut the ends anyway and go ahead and cook those probably tonight for dinner. Red onions. Those were cheap. They were like a little over a dollar. Um, the cuties, they were $2.39, which has come down a lot because lately Manor and Oranges, if you hadn't seen my last video, They've been like, goodness gracious, six and eight dollars. So these were on sale for $2.39. These were another clearance item. I really don't know why. They're in perfect shape. They were like a dollar eighty. So I got two bags. I will cut them and freeze them. This I thought was a better deal than it was. Usually this stuff's a lot cheaper. I like it when you could actually buy a whole one for like a dollar something. This, um, it tricked me, the sign. I didn't realize it. It was 99 cents a pound. This sucker cost almost $5, which I do love butternut squash. I roast it in the oven, drizzle, I uh, cut it in half, drizzle some um, oil on it, on foil, and roast it. And it's so good. And I'll scoop it and I'll save it either for dinner or else I'll freeze it and use it another time. 
this was the first time I've ever bought a candle there. I just happened to be looking at the candles. This smells so good. Um, I've seen them advertised a million times or $3.99 and I asked people that were in the aisle if they'd ever had one and this one lady stopped me because I had a pumpkin one and she said buy this scent the honey glazed pear cider she said their candles are so good and they smell up her whole house and I don't buy candles very often I just don't like paying for them um, but it smells so good so I'll let you know if it ends up like working but she swore by it she picked up some when she was in that aisle Coming over here, I know lately I've been hearing there's been a great shortage of pumpkin, but thank goodness um, Aldi's had it for like 98 cents. So I grabbed four cans of pumpkin because I love pumpkin recipes. I make pumpkin chili. I make pumpkin muffins. If you guys haven't seen my pumpkin muffin recipe, you have got to go and watch that video. If I remember, I'll link it below. It was when I made the, uh, the different simmer pot recipes um, when I did the collab with Carla you need to check that out because my ultimate pumpkin muffin recipe is in that you guys will love it I got some black beans those are for recipes peanuts we were shockingly out I usually buy those at Sam's um, puff corn I, here we go with all the chips again guys it wasn't on the plan it's just they had them on a bunch on clearance so puff corn the girls like that the pub style things we like those I couldn't find my veggie flaxseed chips anywhere if you're on clearance they must be doing away with them because there was no like label in the normal aisle anymore they were just on the getting rid of stuff so they were a little over a dollar so they were really cheap corn chips are for like chili nights uh, veggie straws these were also this is Lanny's favorite chip they were on clearance so they must be doing away with those they were in the same place my flaxseed chips are I love those veggie flaxseed chips with hummus ranch chips, two bags of tortilla chips because we love salsa and anything served with Mexican wise soupy soup stuff well, then we use tortilla chips, ketchup, um, self-explanatory, mayo, um, got coffee, it's not bad it's $4.99 there I prefer Folgers but um, that stuff's I like the Colombian better than the other regular coffee. These were on clearance also which I love these for salads especially taco salad got some popcorn for movie night guys I got so much junk this was special buys seasonal special buys I think these are $2.69 but they last forever and I love to have them for making peanut butter balls or holiday things just to have on hand fun Halloween treats so I went ahead and picked up two of those these are for if the kids go to school or we have football or we have um, to try to avoid the concession every time we go to a game we have four games a week so picked up these I've never bought these before they're little packets got the chocolate chip ones for lunches or for on the go fruit snacks then these crackers the kids love these things um, just to have and then two boxes of generic Cheez-Its box of generic rinses a lot of times I need those for a recipe and I never have them this is going to be possibly, um, I don't have my game plan yet, but I'm going to do a movie night for Halloween. So I may do a recipe that involves these. I don't know. I got those just to have, I call those church cookies. I grew up eating those at our church. On, like whenever they would serve stuff for kids, they would give those cookies. Um, Lainey loves these breakfast biscuits. She absolutely loves these with some fruit in the morning. This was impulse buys, also seasonal items. I don't know why I picked these up, but I, my most favorite thing in the whole wide world is Oreo, Oreo anything. So I really don't need this, but this was a special buy and seasonal. So they had both of these together. And then guess what they had in the aisle over? I saw um, Southern Mama Drama making this before with um, Funfetti pancake mix only she went a step beyond and like dipped those little Debbie snack things in with it so Oreo they also had like a pink unicorn one but I had to have it I've got tons of pancake mix but none with Oreos so Oreos are my favorite thing in the world I'm um, coming over here I've got onion soup mix that's for recipe cake mix I'll, um, I'm gonna make that with a recipe also um, two bags of chocolate chips. I always refill those. Keep those on hand because um, I prefer to make my own cookies instead of buying them. Even though I did buy these guys, but I like to make chocolate chip cookies a lot. 
uh, sugar-free vanilla pudding. That's for a recipe. Picked up some more of this. This ended up being a hit in the house, so I recommend it, and it's cheap. Uh, this is just to make that flavor water stuff. Um, these are masks. They had kid masks. We have to, the kids have to wear masks and stuff, plus they have to wear them in other places. They were $1.99. They're pretty durable. I'm just It's hard to find the right size. Then some cooking spray. Had to have that. It was completely out. Coming over here, I got this huge thing of paper towels. I planned to go to Sam's and get it, but we were out and this was a better deal per um, piece of paper towel. Ended up being like 11 something for that big thing of it. Four loaves of bread, thing of hamburger buns. This was pricey. I usually just get this because I can't have aspartame. Um, it's not my most favorite thing in the whole wide world, but it tastes pretty good. I've gotten used to it. And I thought it, usually it's like $3.99. It was $5 there. So it was a little higher than Walmart. Shocking. Um, fries just to have on hand. This was something, I actually never bought these there. The buffalo salad chicken strips. But I thought it'd be nice to have on hand for like salad night or something. Got some protein yogurt, love that stuff. We, were, we didn't have any butter, just picked that up to have. These were something I've never bought. Um, I don't know that it was the best deal. It was a little over $4, but I thought it's got veggies in it. So maybe the kids will eat that if we have like a busy night. Got some cheese. Those two types, I didn't have the kind I usually buy. This was pricey. I need this for a dinner recipe. Um, but, ugh, it was like $5.89 a pound. Yeah. So it's a little steep, but that's stew meat. I picked that up. I'll just have to chop it up real small. Got uh, some turkey, got some bacon, got three things, I got a big thing of the ground turkey and then two of the leaner kind. Got some moo tubes, always freeze those. Two things of butter sticks just to have for baking. These are for a fun uh, movie night. I'm gonna make something fun with those. This I just picked up just to freeze because it was on clearance, and I thought, well, I could just have that on hand. And this is an impulse buy. My husband loves, is it, is it pimento cheese? Ugh, I despise it. I, I, love, I just cannot stand pimento cheese. Um, but he likes it, so I saw this, and he loves jalapenos. So this was something I've never seen there before. Hummus, I love hummus. I eat those chips I showed you, those veggie chips with it. Um, I've never, I don't think I've seen it. There was a man in Aldi's looking for the caramel macchiato. And I was like, oh, they have that? So it was said seasonal buy. So I picked that up for him. Usually I buy sugar-free everything. But I was so excited to find this because everybody that has a Walmart or a store near them has oat milk. Our Walmarts never, ever carry it. I've tried to find it a million times. Cannot find oat milk anywhere in our area, which is insane. So they had this, I think it was like $3.49, but yes, it has a tiny bit of sugar in it, but it says it's healthy. It tastes good. So I was super excited to find this. This is seasonal. Um, cottage cheese, that's my husband's favorite protein source. Sour cream, a lot of times I'll use Greek yogurt, but I went ahead and picked that up. This is so good. This pineapple coconut water, really good. It's made with green tea, I think. Um, I got two of those. Got two of these pulp free orange juice, one gallon of milk. Got guac. I love these. I prefer to pick them up at Sam's Club because you get the big packs, but I can't go without guac. So I got those. Uh, I got three of these. One's for a recipe, and the others are to have on hand. Then I got some tuna. My son likes tuna. Cinnamon rolls for like an easy weekend breakfast for the kids with some fruit. And then Two of these are for one recipe and two are for the other, the crescent rolls. Ice cream, just to have, this is seasonal. They had pumpkin and then they had French vanilla because normally they only carry vanilla bean, but they had French vanilla this time, so I picked it up. Mustard, just because we were out. Then freezer bags, sandwich bags, and my favorite for crock pots. These are $1.49, I highly recommend them. Then you don't have to clean your crock pot. And then, of course, the dog's favorite thing, so yeah. That is my big grocery haul. This better last well over a week because that's a lot of stuff. And some of it's going in the freezer, like I said. 
I will store stuff. I will chop things up and make, um, make them spread out longer. Plus I have a Sam's Club haul coming at some point because I need to go there and stock up on all my baking essentials. Okay, coming over here guys, here's the meal plan for the week. Subject to change, it usually does. Um, so we'll just start up here. I don't know what day I'll be posting this, but I'll go ahead and start with Monday. So on Monday, mini turkey meatloafs. Um, this is a recipe I've never made before, but it looked cute. Mac and cheese and corn. This was actually a Pioneer Woman recipe. Burger bar, that's something we do periodically where we will say you want like a fried egg burger or you want onions or you want mushrooms or guac or you know, you name it, whatever the topping or bacon, then you can choose what you want to put on it. We'll make like a little bar for burgers. So the kids like that. Um, turkey taco skillet. I don't know what's going to go with this yet. This is a new recipe that I saw. So I may share that with you. I don't know. This is one of my favorite recipes. They didn't have the sweet potato fries though, so I may have to make my own. Plus, the kids aren't big sweet potato fans. Um, Lainey will eat them, but nobody else will, so I may just make regular fries. But those spicy black bean burgers, um, it's a Pioneer Woman recipe and it's so good. I haven't made it in a while because people, the kids complain. They're not being on bean burgers. Uh, beef tips, mashed potatoes and corn, that's why I got that uh, stew meat. So this is something that my husband loves, and that's why I got the onion soup mix. Pumpkin chili is one of my most favorite recipes that I make. I make it seasonally. I may have put this on a meal plan before and not gotten to it, but I plan to make that, and we serve it with sandwiches. And then these are chicken roll-ups. Uh, that's what the crescent rolls are for, and I'll probably serve it with mashed potatoes and a salad or some other form of vegetable. I always try to put a vegetable in there's usually like a carby thing like mac and cheese or french fries or something that's not as healthy. Um, but I always have vegetables and a protein source. So there we go guys. There's an idea for the meal plan for the week. Okay guys, that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some ideas of what Aldi's has right now. And I hope you enjoyed the meal plan. Hopefully I will be sharing some of those videos uh, in an upcoming what's for dinner. And if you don't care, click that notification bell. It's free. It tells you every time I upload. And if you don't care to give a big thumbs up, that's free also. It just helps my channel. Um, I appreciate you guys more than you know. And also, don't forget to check out Jen's channel, Southern Mama Drama, when you get done watching mine. I'm going to link it down in the description box. Go give her some love. Tell her I sent you. I know you're going to love her as much as I do. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.